this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Warrior 2! Since last time, I finished all the level grinding that I did, so I uh, got the princess up to level 23. I think that's good enough there. Um, most importantly, learned some new spells, like Revive for the Prince of Kanak. It revives someone, brings them back to life if they die. And I also learned Sacrifice, the most brutally unfair spell in RPG history. It guaranteed instant death on all enemies at the cost of the life of the caster. Some enemies have this spell, but who cares if they sacrifice their life if we're all dead? It's so brutally unfair. You can go through the cave to roam, run into the enemy that has sacrifice, and have an hour of your life just sucked away like that. Some enemies even have defeat around here. I mean, they get, they're giving these enemies instant death around here. Holy cow. But anyway, for Glenn, or Gwen, yeah, Glenn, I wish I had Glenn, no, um, we got the open spell, and well, let's show how that one works. First, let's uh, take a look at this portal here. It takes us back here. Nuts. I didn't mean to walk that far through the barrier. Eh, what do I care? But anyway, if uh, I can get to Gwen's spell list, there we go. We can use the open spell to open doors, so we don't need those keys anymore. So that's pretty nice. While I was doing some of the level grinding, I uh, got a sort of destruction. You can win that from giants. Let's show off how that one works. Let's uh, equip that. It's a little stronger. Nuts. It's a cursed item. Um, can I uh, unequip it? Come on. I can't remove it. Nuts. How am I going to undo that? Okay, um, well, let's talk to the priest. Let's see what he has to say. Uh, uncurse. Lodo. 2,900 gold? What, you use leeches to remove curses too? Okay, yeah, I heard that line before. Um, okay, yeah, I guess we uncurse it. But there's actually a nice little trick that you can do f with it when you do, uh, uncurse something. Remember his, uh, attack power went to 209? It's still at 209, even though he broke the curse. The way it works is when you equip a cursed weapon or equipment at all, then um, the attack power stays the same until you go back to the equip menu. So if you want to use that high attack power, you can. Now obviously that's a bug, so I'm not going to be taking advantage of that. But what I want to do while I'm here, if uh, I can get the shopkeeper to come back, there we go. Um, I'll just reset or load a save state or whatever, but I do want to get a third shield of strength with all the extra money I've got. I can sell the Sword of Destruction and some other items I want, so I'm going to take care of that real quick and be right back. Okay, we're all set and ready to go. Uh, basically, here's how I've got everything set up. I got rid of the shield of Erdrich. Uh, we really, it's only slightly stronger than the Shield of Strength, and I don't want to take up an inventory slot. I gave the Light Sword to Orpheo so he can use it in battle to cast Surround. I've also got everything here for the Princess. Okay, so, in order to get back to the Shrine here, or the Rhone Monolith, you just cast Return, since we saved here already. So, there we go. Let's heal up and finally head to Hargon's Castle. If you really want to, you could do some more level grinding, like get Gwen up to... Uh, level 25 to learn her final spell, Chance, but it just has a random effect. Like, I think one of them is, like, restoring all of your party members' HP uh, a little bit, like the Heal Us spell, or it has some other weird effects that I don't, just, it's just not worth it, so. The underworld? Well, I suppose we are kind of on the peak of, uh, Rome, so. Well, all right, let's head on to Hargon's castle, then. Let's see, I did my level grinding in the hills right here to my left. So, that's a really good place to do that there. Uh, also, if you decide to do some more level grinding, you could get the Falcon Sword if you wanted to for the Hero or the Prince of Kanak. Either way, uh, Blizzards, they are susceptible to defeat, and they can cast defeat themselves. Well, Alright, there we go. Got a pretty good shot on them. Uh, Explode It works really well on them. Usually. Not today, apparently. Yeah, let's just go all out now. Okay, got him. But yeah, they can cast Defeat on you. Instant death. I've heard that the uh, the Dragon's Bane's influences how likely it is to hit on you. I don't know if that's true or not, but it kind of makes sense, I suppose. I was just fighting another Bullwong there. How did that translation happen? 
Whoa, we got a giant now. Uh, let's see. Let's cast Explode it only. I don't want to use Defeat unless it's like a group of Blizzards. Giants can uh, get a critical hit on you, but so just take him out with, like that, and easy enough. Okay. Yeah, as you can see, uh, Explode it doesn't, or their Defeat spell does not hit that often. Uh, yeah, maybe a Heal All spell on Lodo there. Or not, we can wait on that. Can you imagine the creative process for n naming Bolwong? In the original translation, they were called uh, Arc Demon. How did they, why did they change that, you know? I mean, can you imagine the meeting, the director of the game, meeting with the translator and the censors? So, you changed it to Bolwong? I guess the censors were like, it's a good change. All right, we've made it to Hargon's castle? What's going on? Did I get teleported back? What's going on here? Huh. That's weird. And the king's still there. Huh. Um. Hmm. That's weird. When you, uh, come here, I heard in the original translation, some of the people say, uh, oh yeah, Hargon's a real good guy or something, you know? Uh, everything's okay. Uh, you just came all the way here for nothing, or words to that effect. Well, might as well rest up at the end to get all my MP back. Huh. Well, there we go. Now, now, actually, you see we're at full MP? Keep an eye on that. Remember what someone said earlier? The charm of Rubus. This is why we need that item. Be not deceived by false visions! Whoa, holy crap! Yeah, you see all that stuff at the end there? It was just an illusion. You don't really get to keep all that. But, uh, let's take a look around here. Yeah, this was just an illusion. That's just, like, really creepy to me, you know? I mean, that's, like, like, uh, Valhalla creepy in Final Fantasy Legend 2. Hey, okay, how's it going? Nuts. Whoa, holy crap, gold bat boons! These guys are the most brutally unfair enemy in RPG history. They can cast Sacrifice, guaranteed instant death, on all your party members. Who cares if they die? But fortunately, or who cares if they die when they cast Sacrifice on me, if I'm all dead? You know, it's guaranteed. But fortunately, uh, they are quite susceptible to stop spell, so that's the way of dealing with these guys. But, oh my god, I can't believe they put that in there. It's so ridiculous. I have died to those guys on more than one occasion. Fortunately, they usually also only seem to cast Sacrifice when they're, like, really low on HP, like, below 25%. So we should be in pretty good shape. Now, there's a way you're supposed to figure this out, but I'll just get to the point. Use Step Guard there, and use Open us on a Secret Passage. Yeah, there's a door there. You're supposed to go to, in the room to the left there, so you can see what you're supposed to do here. But, yeah, that's how it's supposed to work. I figured I'd at least show you the gold bat boons once. But, uh, yeah, if you don't know what you're doing, you don't know the spell resistances, they will kill you! Yeah, one last time. Okay, well, there we go. One more? Okay, now I don't know how you're supposed to know this, but you use the Eye of Malroth here, and it takes you up to the upper levels of Hargon's Castle. So, let's check it out! By the way, if you need to do some healing outside of battle, actually, I still need to, um, try to use Orpheo's MP to conserve Gwen's, so that way she can cast Explode It. I like the name for that spell. As opposed to just a plain Explode. It's not just Explode, it's Explode Debt. I, I don't know where that came from, but it's cool. I like it. <laughs> It is boss time. We've got a boss gauntlet to go through here, so unlike the last game. Wow, I'm really doing well on the encounter rate here. Holy cow. Am I at max? No, I'm not. Let me take a moment to uh, heal up to max and be right back. Okay, we're all healed up and ready to go for boss time against Atlas himself. Uh, yeah, no boss music, but uh, we gotta get surround to stick on him first. 
and then defense. I really like surround for this battle, even though it's not that great, but the battle is going to last long enough to where you want him to hopefully miss someone at some point in time, and Gwen is probably going to die, but oh well. Part of the trick to this battle is realizing who Atlas is targeting. Because what you can do is, uh, once he hits someone, he's going to keep on hitting that same character over and over and over again. So what you want to do is have that, once you realize who it is, have that character parry for the remainder of the battle, and then you can have the other characters either attack or heal the person who is being concentrated on, as we call it. It's called concentrated targeting in uh, Dragon Warrior 3, that is. But apparently they use it in this game, too. But yeah, I got a little lucky there, but, you know, still, uh, we made it. So, all right, hooray! We defeated Atlas. One of uh, Hargon's generals, as I like to call them. Well, where do we go now? We gotta head up here first. And uh, yeah, we may want to uh, heal up again there. Okay, we're all set and ready to go for second boss time against Bazuzu. And just like his pallet spot, he can kill you with sacrifice. So let's see, um, let's go with Firebane and uh, let's put him to sleep. He has moderate resistance to sleep, but not that much. Enough to, or not so much, that it's worth it to actually use sleep on him. You could also use Explode It on him if you want. Not only keeps on waking up from it, but as long as I keep on getting those hits to go through, you know, we're wearing him down. We're wearing him down. Nuts. Okay, come on, look. Oh, er, defeat. Well, got lucky there. Right? He didn't hit me, so. Um, let's just go with Explode It now. We've almost got him. Yes! Okay, got him. Whew. Okay. Let's get up to the second to the last floor, then. And I think I should heal up again here. There's a new enemy around... Oh, oh, I'm already healed up. Okay. There's a new enemy around here called Mace Master. If you run into him, just use Explode It. And this is Zarlox, the final general of Hargon. Let's see. I want to use uh, Surround and Defense on him, which he has no resistance to at all. So you should guarantee be able to get those to go through. Ow. That hurts. Okay, let's see. You parry, heal all, or heal. Uh, Zarlax does not use concentrated targeting. He'll hit one person, then he'll hit another person, and so on and so forth. So, basically, what I want to do now is, um, let's see, heal all. Yeah, just keep on healing, and uh, you could cast defense over and over and over again to uh, completely deplete their uh, de defense, but I don't think that's really necessary. I mean, you really want to focus more on keeping your HP up for spells like Explode It. One interesting thing about Zarlax is that he doesn't, unlike the other two bosses, he doesn't have perfect immunity to defeat. So, I suppose, theoretically, you could get it to work on him and kill him in one shot, but uh, I don't think that's going to happen because well, I've already killed him. There we go! Okay, so, now that we've uh, defeated all those guys, let's, uh, yeah, let's heal up to Max. Now, once you've defeated them, they will not reappear ever again until you save and reset, for example. But I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to... Do I have the MP? Yeah, <laughs> good. I'm going to cast outside and then return to the monolith at Rome there so that I can heal up. And then I'm going to get all the way back up here because the bosses will be gone now. So I'll have a whole lot more MP for defeating Hargon once and for all next time on Let's Play Dragon Warrior 2. This is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.